PS. So yeah, um, about about that one discussion. Okay, um, do you guys put peanut butter before or after you toast your bread? Oh, I've already answered this, you dumbass. Clearly, whenever I, I make the bread, peanut butter and jelly. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to welcome to the stream, guys. I guess. Oof. Okay, that's rhythm boss. Like, who the fuck is a soundboard? <laughs> oh, it's, it's so rhythm. loud. So, who's gonna do the recap this time? All I... we know is that we're in the midst of combat, and I think. Okay, I could hear I now. I definitely know Boo's dead, so oof. Oh, we're almost dead. Um, uh, she's fine. That's what you think. <laughs> I mean, I'll just... make sure she's fine. Alrighty. I mean, like, let's just see. Um, yeah, last time we ended off, and it's been a while. It's been like two weeks since we last played, and it's. You know, it's just because we've all been, some of us have been busy, and it happens. Life is a bitch and a half these days. But anyway, um, so, last time we left off, we were in combat. I believe, um, I'm the first one up right now. Yes, you are the first one up. Uh, we ended it off, uh, Darius is down, Bowie is down, Alina is still up, Kenneth is still up, and Brooke is still up. Uh, there's still a lot of people still alive, and we are two down, so it's uh, kind of like a, oh no. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> I mean, no, don't. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. No, you're not, the not, over. not yet. Not yet. <laughs> still got a lot of time left. Hopefully. Give or take. But, um, yeah, that's how things are going right now. Some of us are saying hi to death again. It's, uh, you know, as Yay. we do. <laughs> Tell Zahor I say hi. Tell I'm hi. not meant to be a tank. <laughs> Neither am I, but I can tank. <laughs> I can't tank. I can. Let me just die 17,000 times. Dying again? Oh, Enslaved fuck. Noodle! Free him! <laughs> I freed him at what cost? Oh right, no, uh, the noodles. Everybody, are we good to go now? I, I yeah. think so. Peach? Hello? Hello. Hello. I was just sitting here listening to you guys being weird. Okay. <laughs> That's a valid. That's valid. I, was you as a, I, was, I was using you guys as being weird as a reason to get my notes ready because I didn't already before. Wow. Even I had like two hours to do it. That's a mood. That is a mood. I Shoot. cannot say anything. I've done that. We Shoot, wait, hold on, I need to get my notes up. I just realized. Wow, Kit. At least I'm taking notes fine. Finally. Wow, finally? Wow. <laughs> Look, you lined yourself up for that one. Shots fired. Fairly good night. All right. Well, chat, last time we left off, um, Combat continued on. Um, Darius was antagonized by the the chief of this little group that they encountered. Um, Alina, it was proposed by the chief that Darius fight the chief and Alina fight the, the Alpha Warg. This did not happen, however, and the Warg was killed by Alina. Darius, however, has been downed. Um, as he has been down, no one is able to translate as Darius is the only one who knows Orcish, so while he has been down, the orcs have been barking orders back and forth. No one has any idea what they're saying to each other. So, it's a little bit... It could go either way at the moment. We have two down on our side, but they seem to not want to fight at the moment for some reason. So, let's see what these dumbasses do. All uh... right. Also, uh, if the, if the dog dies, it's not my fault. <laughs> if the dog dies, we brought it. If the dog dies, it's not my fault. All right, uh, pretty sure. Yep. Um, it is the water bitch's turn. Yay! Budge Brooks and she demands your soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. It's opening up. 
It's my turn. I... Yeah, that's what I said. Yep, I, I said since it is. I look around being kind of, oh shit, 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 what do I do, what do I do? And decide on one thing, which is to clutch my sprig, Polly, and I cast Cure Wounds on Gooey. All right. How much heals is that? Yep, hold on. Doing it right the second. That's 15 That's heals. I'm very sad. Nice. I'm very sad because I have to make my own fucking... I had to use a bot to roll my dice because I didn't take my dice with me when I went home. Oh, um... Yeah. Speaking of which... So yeah, now Bowie's up and she's got 15 HP. Nice. nice. Also... Thanks to um, Silence of the North, I can do something to the battle map. Which is? HP bars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though you can barely fucking see it, dear lord. <laughs> uh, only, uh, only, only you can see your own HP bar on the DM. I can see ah, it, yeah. Okay. Nice. But we don't know. So it keeps it kind of incognito. Place so they have like no meta knowledge of I know how much uh, HP you have left. Anyway, yep, and uh, <laughs> I love me my healing, friends. Me healing Bowie is. Uh, ah, yeah, I'm still on my interest. Yeah, no, I'm, that's my turn. All right. Well, the next up, I believe, after Brooke, is Penelope. Penelope's still hell, so she's not doing anything. Okay. So Alina. Okay, so this is going to probably use my inspiration point if you let me do this, because I want to ask if I can use my inspiration point for something. Um, what do you want to do first? Okay, so pretty much um, I asked, you know, I asked as well for JT if I could do this. So could I spend my action to use the search action to get the uh, the potion, the potion of greater healing off Darius's body and then use my bonus, then, you know, then use my inspiration point to give him the potion? To administer it. I would say, yeah, I would say it's doable. That's not, that's not anything bad. I would say, yeah, go ahead. Your point is gone, and then let me just check how much greater potion, no, greater heals. I think it's 44 plus. I, I feel like I should know that, but I'm just double checking with myself. As... Question, one of the greater potions, is that one that you, where'd you get that one? That was one given by the one of the werewolves. Oh, okay. And then, then, then during the Adam encounter, I gave it to Darius. And, and I'm just... the one with the assorted healing potions. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure one of those is a poison. I'm almost positive. It, I, I'm same. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck you, dice. You well, at least he's awake. Yeah, <laughs> 10 HP back. That's all I'm gonna need to survive one more round before I get shot down again. <laughs> and then... Uh, once he's up, I'm gonna use my movement to move to about here. Let me just double check, though. Right, so that's 15 feet is 10, because the, the dimensions are incorrect. Yeah, so that's 10, and half of that is about... See, that's enough, because I got 35 movements. Eat. And I'm gonna to face towards. Emily's gonna to face towards the three orcs down here. These three. She's pretty much gonna like. Okay. That's those are her targets. They've they've been taking out too many people and nobody's given them any damage. So. Hmm. This is gonna be fun. All right. Is that gonna be the end of your turn? It will be. All right, Mr. Hoot. It's your turn. Mr. Hoot is trying to get roll twenty to quick. Roll 20, you need to fucking work, you piece of shit. Okay, let's see. Um... I'm guessing he's going to... I'm gonna have him move a, a bit closer to Darius, so about there. And then he's gonna shoot at the uh the leader. Okay. With his plus one 
and then afterwards he's going to disengage and then go back with bolts from the grave. Is that how that works? I believe so. As long as you don't use, as long as you don't use your sneak attack, you can bot it out with a with cunning action. Use bolts from the grave, I believe. I need to double check myself, but I believe that, that is how it works. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and roll for your first hit. Just see if you try it, to see if you can hit. I hate my internet. Remember, um, even if you miss with the first attack, you can still disengage and come back with this with bolts from the grave. Pretty sure is how that works. Come on. Nineteen. That's a hit. And then damage for that one. He's six. Eight damage. Uh, you you shoot him. It comes out of to his right. You shoot him like straight in the arm, like right just in his nice meaty arm, and he you can tell he it hurt, and he gives you pretty nasty look, and he says something in Orcish, but you don't know what it is. He's just gonna smirk at himself, glad he was able to make that hit, and then he is going to load up bolts from the grave. Okay, uh, rem- Lois, JT, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you disengage, you you have to move, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Disengaging gives you uh, basically your movement speed. So he's going to end up moving closer to Darius before shooting again. Okay, roll to hit. Seven. That's a nat 20. Yes! And this is my good dice. 3d6 plus 4. So, double that. Oof. 8. So, 16. So, you did... How much damage did you do the first time? 8? I did, for the first one, yeah, he did, I got 8 damage the first time, and then 8 damage the second time, which is doubled, so 16 plus 8. So you did 24 damage in one. Nice, good job. You do this, uh, the second attack, and you saw, you can tell this one pissed him off, and again, he says, he says something in Orcish, but again, you don't understand what it is. He doesn't seem to be talking to you, though, he seems to be talking to the other orcs. He's just gonna, like, be mumbling under his breath. Come get some, fucker. And that's gonna be the end of my turn. Because I right. don't think I have any bonus. Kolvar's turn. Mm, the doggo. Um, the very the very bloody, weak doggo. Yes. Round by three. Don't want to, but I think I... I gotta keep it on because we have nothing else to give any kind of moment of distraction. So, Olva, I love you, buddy. Where? Uh, I'm gonna make another attack right now and hope against the main guy. This is gonna. What ahead? This is gonna. Oh, let's see. Come on, Colva, you can do it. That's a seven. You're dying Damn on this pupper. It's a miss. Uh, you can see he tries to get him with his nasty teeth, but he's just so weak at the moment that he just can't. the The big guy just sh- kicks him, just like not even really, not even kicks him. He just nudges him off like a puppy. Yeah. Next up is good old Darius. So, sorry to be a player about this, but can you describe the gun that I have in my possession? Is it like a, an old-fashioned flintlock type weapon? 
Gun? Yeah, I have a pistol. Picked it up off the bandit captain we had a while back. Oh, yeah. It, it, think of the one that Orca, that you gave Orca, like, without the ring on it and everything. Not all the, just forget about the magic voodoo shit. It's just like a normal, like, pistol like that. So, I can reasonably assume that this is just a flintlock, basically. Yeah. And pretty much every, no, no fancy modifications, no, like, world specialties with it, just a flintlock. Yeah, it's the picture that Burp just posted. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Why do you need to know that? I'm scared now. Mm, wouldn't you like to know, little boy? <laughs> Alright, what you doing? Uh, I'm gonna, uh, after coming to, I want to shove myself to my feet. I'm going to take cover behind this log. <laughs> and I would like to take out my bow because I have that. Assuming I have enough movement speed, I assume I do, considering. I should read the rule book. I, did it even take movement speed to draw a weapon? I'm gonna say no. I'm as much as many weapons as you have, and how your character is already like well trained in combat and shit like that, I would say that you would have in a place that you could just easily grab it if need be. Well, I'll take it. I see myself my action and bonus action. Mm -hmm. I like to use my bonus action to move my... I think my Hunter's Mark is definitely faded considering I got knocked out twice. I like to mm -hmm. cast Hunter's Mark on the boss. Okay. Here, let me find then I would like to... I would like to attack him twice with my bow. To kill that big, fat, stinky green jerk. Do you? Yeah, I would say you have line of sight on him. Just barely. Poor Brooke might get hit. I don't need. I don't need line of sight when I have my heart guiding me. All right, let's roll the hit. That my favorite enemy. Orcs. A 15 and a 9. Uh, neither of them hit. I miss being in melee. <laughs> I like to go prone behind the log. Okay. <laughs> so just sad. sit there and pout. <laughs> He's pulling a Kenneth. Alright. <laughs> I miss my plus 8. <laughs> yeah, it's getting my turn. Alright. It is now Booby's turn. What's this cat gonna do? Burb, you muted. Ah! This happens every time, every single <laughs> fucking second. I start talking, and then, hey, Burb, you muted. Rip. Ah! Anyways, ever since she, you know, got up thanks to Book, she's actually gonna take a look around, and the situation is a lot worse than what she, you know, first thought it to be, so. This time, she's actually going to be smart about this for once, and she's going to back off a bit. Back off a bit and going to use her channel divinity of preserve life. And she's going to split the HP gain between herself and Darius. I just need to find out what the half HP is at the moment. Okay. Oh dear lord. So um Darius heals for nineteen HP and I heal for one with preserve of life. It's like the second time you've used an army this combat. Thanks now. Wait, really? Yeah, I keep dying. I've... Is it the second time I use No, I'm pretty sure it's the second time. I... Really? Damn. Oh no, yeah. I... No, it is. No, it is. I I'm, I checked that. I checked that out. I I needed to scroll all the way down to see what the fuck I did. Okay, so never mind. Scratch that. Oh shit. 
I need to scroll all the way down to actually see that I've actually fucking used it. God damn it, D&D Beyond. <laughs> Oof. Bullshit. Well, she is still going to be backing up, but... Yeah, she can make it. She can make it there. Casting first level Q wounds. Because this guy needs to fight more than I do. Oof. You just see Bowie get up from getting the shit beat of her. Then she's going to turn around and just sprint across the battlefield towards Darius. Well, cheers, Bowie. Get down here. You won't, you won't want to be over there for this. That leg contraption. So, that's a D8 plus 3 as well as. My fucking other thing, which I need to look into futures and traits, deal yep. with things beyond. What Disciple the fuck? Of, okay. Disciple of Life, which gives you, I think, plus two because it's only a first level. Oh, I thought it was another. I thought it was There's... plus two equals to the spell's level. So I think that's just like two and then plus one. Maybe. I, I don't play Life Clerics. Oh. Because. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah. it's two and then plus one. Yeah, that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So that's I... a, a D8 plus six instead. So let's see what we get. Actually, no, it's, yeah, D8 plus six. Here we go. Damn. That always heals for 13 HP. Not as good as, you know, preserve life, but it'll do. And that's my last spell slot. Oh no. All right. Well, it's the orcs turn now. Actually, I just Sorry. Sometimes I wonder if I'm just Sometimes hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Oof. God Actually, damn it. I could use bonus. I could use a bonus action to activate my rage. <laughs> Give myself resistance to all attacks, basically. Well, all physical attacks. You don't, you don't totem yet. Hey, Brooke. Well, not not totem yet, but still. Yeah. I need you to make me um to resist a grapple. It's a strength save, right? Oh, hi there, motherfucker. Um, if you're the defender, it's a strength or, or athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. For the attacker, it has to be athletics. Yeah. You heard the man. Do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> Do the thing. <gasps> You're most proficient in athletics. Lois. Yeah. I'm afraid. Most Did he also get exactly a 12? No. Well, uh, Brooke is now grappled since I rolled a nap 20. Oh. Uh. Da, da, da. So, I'm going to give you a little marker. What should be our grappled icon? Here. Perfect one. There you go. All right. Well, Brooke is now grappled. Give me a moment. Lois, I need you to do the same thing. Oh, great. Uh, I gotta use acrobatics. Yeah, I gotta use the acrobatics. That's thing. Like That's a natural oh 20 plus God. 8. <laughs> That's a natural Holy 20 plus shit. 8. I also rolled a nat 20. <laughs> I rolled another nat 20. I rolled another nat 20. <laughs> Fuck you, my nat 20 beats your nat 20. <laughs> this Who is has so who has the she has a spell. higher. Hers is higher. Hers is a 28. <gasps> nice. The dice gods love me today. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord. dice god fucking stop! <laughs> <laughs> that was... Oh. You just... Mwah. For the ones who are not being healed or are not prone behind a log, 
you would see one of the um, orcs come out of, like, behind the tree. He comes running up past the orcs and the chief and Kolvar and comes around and just has a brook in a hold, like a very strong hold. You can see her fighting against him, but it's not working for her. Another one comes out of nowhere behind the the, the dead... Blah, 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 blah. You see the other one come out from behind the dead horse. Um, to try to do the same thing to Alina, however, it seems just for a moment that he's gonna win and, like, hold out, but Alina just gets good kick in on the gut and he lets her go. Fuck yeah. I'm a nimble bastard. I'm a nimble bastard, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch what you can't catch. That did. What the fuck? Did I can't catch what you can't like catch. <laughs> That's great. Can't catch what you can't catch. That's the quote now. Can't catch what you can't catch. Yeah, you're kind of right there, Lois. You're kind of right. Just, Lois, just a little. Lois, did you have a stroke? <laughs> yes. <laughs> My brain was saying, can't catch what you can't see. I was like, wait a second, you, you, you can see, Alina. So I just was like, can't catch what you can't see. Lois, do it again. <laughs> wait, what? Another, another, you need another athletics, acrobatic check for me? Yeah, yeah, do it again. Good roar. Holy shit, man. Oh, that sucks. Oh, shit. 26. Damn it! Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. You see this man coming in a mile away. You easily fight him off. Um, what's your? I need Lois's AC and or not Lois. Um, I need Alina's AC. And <laughs> oh shit! Kenneth. Hang on, what's my AC? Let's see. I'm wearing common clothes right now. I have a deck score of ten, so my AC is like eleven. Have this. fun. Um, no, uh, Alina's AC is uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Right. So eighteen and eighteen. Yeah. So I have that. This first one's for Lois. This is a mess. <laughs> Next one is for Kenneth. That's a hit. Mm-hmm. You're going to take 10 points of damage as a crossbow bolt um, comes out of nowhere and just right in your shoulder, just this almost perfectly in the same spot that you got the, the big dude. Lois, or Alina, <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Ki- I'm just gonna go kill myself. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go kill myself. Does he know which one of them was the one that shot him? Uh, yeah, this man. Do I do yeah. it, guys? Should I do it? You want do I mean, it? I, I, I think it's, are they in I range? Mean, you can see him. What's what's the range of Should I do it? What's the range? It's, it's sixty feet, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. in range. Yeah, yeah. he's in. Yeah. Should, should I do it? Should he's I do it? In. Do it. He's do just it. gonna. So with his reaction, he's going to look up at him and just stare at him, dead in the face, completely pissed off. And he's just gonna be like, "Motherfucker!" As he points at him, and as that happens, it's he's going to hit, trigger. Yeah. Let me figure out which uh one it was though. One that be hellish rebuke. That's hellish rebuke because that's a rebuke. Yeah. Okay. But I have I have to press cast anyway. So that's a it's a dex save of fourteen. To roll the hit? No, it's you need Hellish Rebuke with a saving throw spell. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, or minor uh, saving throws. Save. It's it's a Jessica. Fourteen. It's a dex of 14? Yes. Okay, dex of 14. You. That's a 16. Fuck. Uh, okay. Still takes half damage. Yeah. There's, um, you point your finger to a creature yeah, that I, is... Oh, go on. I know. I, I know this well. More for Jess. Okay. I know. Can you... It's more for Jess. Yeah, yeah it's please more continue. for Jess. Go on. Can, can you continue what you were saying really uh, quick? Okay, so... Roll damage still. So roll your the damage that you would roll for that spell. So I think it's two ten. Uh, roll that damage uh-huh. and half it because even though he failed his deck save, uh, no, he succeeded his deck save. He takes still takes half damage. Um, pretty much like he succeeded, missed. You know, it missed him, but he still got like hit by it. Like 
the outskirts of the, the spell, pretty much, as I explained it. So, oh. um, yeah, Hellish Rebuke is, like, a guaranteed damage, in a sense. If they even if they fail, pretty much. So roll so you roll your damage, so roll two D ten and then half it and that's how much damage you take. And of course we were, I think we round up the damage. If it's an odd mm-hmm. number, we round up. So that's nine. He takes, he takes nine damage. Nine points of fire. Alright, there you go. Oh, that would have been so Alright, cool. that is going to end their turn, and now it's the Warg's turn. Um Lois, I need you to roll a, a it's just a grapple for Colvar. Alright, he needs So for him to not be grappled. Lois is athletics or acrobatics or that. Uh his athletics you know, his acrobatics is better because that's a plus two. That's a twelve. Cold off. <laughs> at a nine so you so far you're good do it again though on Kova. that's a 10 he's getting shitter each time i got an 18 that time oh shit okay so give me just a second i gotta get, put the thing on Kovar. all right Two people are currently grappled, also surrounded by a shit ton of enemies. All right, well, that's the end of the Warg's turn. Now it's going to be the Chief's turn. Yay! All right, well, none of you can understand, as none of you speak Orcish except for Darius, but um, you hear him bellow out, um... If you want to keep your friend safe, deserter, come out and fight me. Or are you too much of a coward? He doesn't deserve a reply yet. He's got to work for it. He's got to work for it. (laughs) So you don't reply at all? Oh, you know what? I'll play it safe. I have to shout out. I just got shout out. Angry, fine. Can you repeat what you said, JT? He's gonna say fine angrily. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't think I'd get this far. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> now what? I didn't think I'd get this far. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Why are you measuring? Stop it. That's just me playing in advance. Ignore me. Yeah, I know. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you too, Burb. Yep. Okay. Well. He's just going to grin. Um, you can't see him because you're prone behind a log, but the others um would however be able to see him grin. Um, you hear him say some things in Orcish. Everyone else, you understand him, Darius. You hear him basically giving orders to keep the ones that they have grappled held tight and not to let go. Um, and you also hear him telling the others that um, have any form of healing to make sure that you are taken care of so that it will be a decent fight. What? Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So, I have a question for the t- two other DMs. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Um, can somebody move when it's not their turn? Like, even if someone commands them, or can they have to stay still? Uh, they have to use a commander has to use a special ability. I think uh, yeah. the battle masters get it. Okay. Yeah, it's like it commander. So it'll be that's until right. Darius's next turn that he. Okay, that's no, that's I was just asking for the the other orcs. Um, I didn't want to do it and then not 
that'd be a bad thing. All right. Well, the orc chief is not going to attack or anything. Um, he was just speaking. So now it is Brooks' turn. Right. All right. Check some things really quick. Yep. Remember, you are grappled, so if you I'm grappled, anything, but I could still cast. Out. I could still cast a spell. Yeah. Spells. I did actually just check this. Actually, just while I was like, can you still cast spells? I looked it up. Yeah, you can still cast spells. That is prevent so me from stupid. casting a spell. Yeah, grappling so, sort of the worst in this game. That is so stupid. If you're grappled, you shouldn't be able to do anything. Well, psych. Can I see Alina? Yeah, you can. I say vaguely because she's just because she is also behind bright fire. All right, I'm gonna yeah, yell out. She's behind a strobe light. Yeah, she's yeah, behind. Like a... She's behind a giant, and she's also small. Behind a giant strobe light, pretty much. I can still see the I can still see the orcs grappling her basically. So um, I'm gonna yell out to Alina. Um, Alina, I'm sorry. I'm going to lift, form my arm out a little bit from the grapple, reach up, and then slam down and I'm casting Tidal Wave. It's going to hit oh. all of us. Oh, damn. Okay, so draw me a line real quick, uh, Kit, where the Tidal Wave starts so I can know who all gets hit. Okay, so let me, I'm checking here real quick. So it can technically right here, then hold on, trying so to get- you would be hit as well, wouldn't you? I would be hit as well, but I have the HP for it. So it I know, would hit just from make, all the I, way I know, I'm just making sure. All the way down here. And here. Yeah, Give right here as well. Give me a second. Control Pray druids. Control druids, fuckers. Yep. That hits literally all of us. Yeah, I know. That's why I drew the line. Time to make yep. a deck save. <laughs> For every single one of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> 17 zombies. Peach, you deserve this. What the fuck are you talking about? I had no part in that fight. That was all for Volley's bullshit. And me. Uh, yeah, you're on the same side, yeah, though. It's... You're all equally to blame. Do anything. No, like, once you suffer with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Oh god, eight. I feel like make my oh, own yes. save. Yes, deck 30 save. Give me a second. Uh... So I'm doing a deck save. What am I trying to beat? 16. You also need okay. to roll for cold Ooh, eyes. Yeah. Okay, what are I'm gonna do them first so they have this. Cold That's eyes. okay. One of them passes. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you until I'm done with all of them. Cold roll to 14. Oh no. <gasps> okay, that's a pass. <laughs> yeah. pass. No, no. That's not. And all of the um, okay. fire should be by this as well. Thank God. Get out of here. So this dude back here, these two back here that I'm pinging by, these two failed. The others, uh, the other three orcs passed. Let me do the wargs. Holy shit! Oh God, that was such a power move. <laughs> it is tidal wave, fucking control druid. Now I know what I'm in for later. Oh no! Wait, right. exactly. <laughs> what am I? What am I trying I to beat? 16. 16. 16. So the two wargs failed. <laughs> the chief passes. Damn it. Okay, whatever. He's still taking damage. We're all taking only, damage, man. Only the chief passes. No, okay, so I'll let you know. The chief passed. The three orcs that are up here by him passed. The only ones who failed are the two wargs and the two orcs that are down here by the, the fire down here. Ah, okay. So what happens when they fail? Um, if they fail, they take full damage, and they are knocked prone. Um, How much those, damage? Um, it's going to be 17 damage. Damn, is that, okay. Is that, is that the max damage, so, 17? That's this one. That's the full okay. damage. Look at roll 20. This one's dead. Yes! Nice. Give me a second. They have that much damage. Succeeded, they have the damage, and they're not knocked prone. So he, this one down here that's by himself, he looks very injured and very confused. And if he's they, prone. If yeah. they pass, it's half damage, right? Yes. 
So what's half of seventeen? B. Uh, B like nine. Eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah, definitely. Like just round up and then just go eight. So I take. So he's have been injured. He are rounding up or down. Imagine up for damage because. Okay. Oh, okay, so now nine damage. He's been yeah. injured. Colvar's dead. No, oh, I killed the dog. No. <laughs> oh, was it that? No, okay. No. Uh, you 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 can't heal Amokamai. Yeah, they, they don't have death saving or anything like that. So that's sad. It's Papa killed the dog. Oof. Time to kill Brooke. No. Oh yeah. Also, the fire is <laughs> now because tidal wave. Yep. I needed the fire. Okay, God, the three so... are just seeing this massive wave just come crashing down and hit all of oh, us. Oh, all right. God. Well, that so all... the two oh, no. wards look injured. <laughs> the chief looks fine. Um, the three other orcs that are up here with him also look fine. The only one who looks very injured are the two wargs and the um yeah. the orc down here by himself. Yeah, and they are currently prone as well. So, so. chat, just so everyone knows that this dramatic moment did not just get glossed over, Brooke just cast Tidal Wave, and a humongous wave came out of nowhere and hit Everyone behind this white line. Um, it killed a orc, injured the others. It also killed Colvar. So now everyone except for Darius, because he's behind a log, I mean, you all see Colvar's little body just laying on the ground. Shit. God damn it. Uh, some bitches need to pay. Yeah. Okay, his eyes are going to narrow on the chief, and I think I know who we're going for first. Yeah. He didn't but, cast Tidal Wave. This isn't his fault. Oh, I know, but he's the one who the brought dog everybody was grappled. here. Yeah, the dog was him. grappled. Yep. By him. Fuck. I was hoping not to have that guilt on my conscience, but oh well. Don't get close to too. I'll make sure they burn. Just to be um, safe. We can't afford another loss. Also, just so everyone knows, uh, I as I did that, I forgot to mention as in my flavor, I screamed out something. You have no idea what the hell it was, and it was in Primordial. None of you know Primordial. Oof. Well, it is now Penelope's turn. Uh, oh god, do I want to risk this? I, c I could have her save Brooke right now if I really wanted to. Don't risk it. You are still grappled, so... I'm still grappled, that's why I'm thinking I could easily get her to... Penelope can make a shove action and just... A shove action and then walk away, I guess. Hold on, let me check. Hold on. Penelope's on 3 HP. No, I'm not going to risk that. She's. Uh, Penelope's oh, going to. 3 HP, dear lord. Yeah, no. Um, Penelope's going to obviously look a little worried that that just happened, but she's going to overall stay where she is. Still. Because remember, Alina? kids, cowering is not always bad. Alina, oh. it is now your turn. Oh, she just got hit by you a. Watch... Go on. You just watched your dog die. Well, she, I mean, she, she, she wasn't facing the right direction. She was facing towards the three orcs below her. She, was, she didn't see Colbert die. She doesn't know yet. She's not facing that direction. Oh, yeah, you're right. But she doesn't know Colbert's dead yet. She wasn't facing at all. So, I have to get hit by a giant fuck-off wave. She's first gonna, like... <coughs> I'm fine. Sorry! I'm fine. <coughs> just, you know, she might just keep her balance. Um... But let's see, there's now... Let me just check the battle map again, because I have so many tabs open. Oh, she's still... Oh, she can't... Uh, hmm, this is a problem. Um, I'm going to give this guy an opportunity to attack for doing this, but I am moving out of attack range to move out here. That's going to give probably this guy and maybe this guy attack opportunity. Okay. So, I don't know, I think, I think so, I think so. Yeah, yeah, they both think about opportunity. That's only with melee, right? Yeah, only with melee. Okay, um, give me just a second. Yeah, if range had an attack opportunity, that would be so broken. That's a hit. Oh. And that's a hit. Oh boy, how much damage? Give me the damage. Oh. Uh, da 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 da. Hang on. 
for the first one, you're going to take six damage, and for the next one, you're going to take nine. All right, I'm... I believe now I am bloodied. All right, that's fine. Well, thing. Broken heart. Um, all right, well, still like coughing up some water though, but eventually just composing herself, not seeing Kola's body yet. Does she still focus on the two fuckers, or the three that are just, you know, right there? Um, I don't have action surge anymore, but I'm going to. Uh, let's see. Out of these three, like these three orcs, this one, this one, and this one down here, which one was the most injured? Uh, the one that's by himself. Right? In that case, I'm going to shoot him twice. Okay, roll to hit. Wait, he's prone. No, he's not. Oh, yeah, he is. He failed the save. Oh, that means I got disadvantage. Okay. 2d20. Uh, lowest one. Plus. That is a 15. 15 is exactly his uh, AC. 2d20. Lowest one. Plus six. That's a, that's underscore 13, not a plus. That's another 50! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Wait, where, where are you hitting next? The dice! Why do you would betray me? Wait, where were you hitting? This one, he's prone, and uh, uh, range attacks are at disadvantage against prone. Yeah, but I mean, you, still did, you did two disadvantage twice, or else. Yeah, because she's hitting him twice. So hang oh, twice. okay, sorry. I have, I didn't... I'm a fighter, I have two what? attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Minnie, I thought you were aiming somewhere else. No, I'm a fighter, I have two attacks, I tried to hit him twice, and I, I think I missed both times. You hit. Nope, you just said you got both of them. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, his AC is 15. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Uh, actions. He won. Eight plus eight. Two D eight. Cause that's what we were doing the whole time, right? Like, if, even if it's thirty C, it still hits. I. I. I just yeah, that's it. that's the rule. Yeah. 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 There's so yeah. people. There's so many ways people do it. I get confused which one's which sometimes. There's people who do like one below, one after on the AC. I. That if is... the attack is, is on. Sorry. That's right. Anyway, uh, that is twenty-one damage. Okay, he is dead. Like, dead dead. Oh, you sweet. shoot two arrows, one goes through his throat, the other one goes straight. Same spot. <laughs> one after the other, you, sh sh you hear him gurgle for a bit, and then he just collapses. Check. Okay, that's 15, so I still have 20 foot, so that's a move a bit back here. Still injured, but for the back. And that'll be the end of my turn. I can finally move my camera up. Thank god, it's all in the same spot now! <laughs> okay, after Alina, it was gonna be Colvar, but, you know, <laughs> things happen. Now it's his <laughs> turn. So, who's going to re-aim for the chief again? Why not? With his okay. plus one. The person who's grappling book, though. Book could take a hit. Damn it. <laughs> the guy that's... The main chief is not grappling Brooke. It's another random guy that's grappling me. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Let me know what you get. Not 20. Okay, go ahead, roll. Come on. Come on. Nice. Let's be with us. Seven, so 14. And then he's going to disengage and shoot again with both. And as okay. he moves. He's going to move closer to Alina. He's also going to come behind most.
24. It's a hit. Two, three, some. Wait, not to interrupt. Since that was a nat 20 he got and the damage was original was a seven. One oh wait, did that already get doubled? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that already got doubled. Okay, yeah, sorry, I don't know why my brain was being dumb. Six. Thought that didn't happen. Six. Fine. Oops. And then ten. So he's taking twenty-four damage. Oh, just so you guys know, I forgot to mention this. He is bloody. He has been for a little bit. I just forgot Yay. to do it. Nice. So he takes 24 damage in total. Okay. And he's just gonna look over at Alina and be like, hey, you okay? <coughs> Fine. <coughs> just bought up. He's gonna just nod and that's gonna be the end of his turn after me. He's okay. It's Darius' turn. Uh, I'm doing something a bit spicy, so it's up to see how many actions it's going to take. I can say it out loud, or I can DM it to you, whichever you prefer. Uh, go ahead and DM it to me. Fancy. So, how was everybody's week? <laughs> We're just dying, dying. I'm vibing. Dying on the inside. Sounds accurate. Dying on the inside and outside. Hey. Gee. That a mood. Yeah, because I got seasonal al- seasonal allergies. Yay. Oh, boy. Wait, my favorite. Seasonal, seasonal allergies in the middle of fucking winter? Yeah, so every... T- where I am, the temperature is being really hot and really cold, like drastically throughout the day, and ah. so that really that triggers my allergies so badly. It happens all year round. Understandable. Okay. Especially since in Missouri, weather changes every ten goddamn minutes. No, no, no. You should you, you should come to Ohio. Okay. We okay. We snow in the middle of May. All right, JT. I'm having a hard time picturing this in my head. Explain to me what you're doing. So I assume the bullets I have are in an ammo pouch. Yeah. That's not specifically meant for 20 bullets, so it's going to be larger than, like, palm-sized. Mm-hmm. I like to take my pistol and shove it inside before yeah. taking my oil flask that I have and dousing the entire pouch with it. Oh. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> um. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the, just the fucking chorus of O's. <laughs> Please, just let it happen. <laughs> I had gunpowder go boom. <laughs> he, ma- he made a fucking claymore right there. <laughs> Except he's gonna have to set it off himself. Or throw it at something. Yeah, I'll let it happen. Oh shit. Oh, with that done, I'm just gonna stack this back uh, no longer prone, using half my movement for looking bitterly at uh, the big boy. Let it go, you coward. I'm fine, by the way. Totally fine. Yep, it's fine. Also fine. I got this under control. <laughs> no, I literally do. No. I have a I'm sorry. I just have to slow my head. I need to draw that now. <laughs> I'm on the brink of death. I'm fine. It's she's actually on the brink of death. I don't think she's. I don't well, I think she's on half HP yet, but yeah. 
uh, he's going to his friend with, she's in no danger of being injured. She will not be harmed. Unless you choose not to fight. And you're in danger of being injured if you don't let it go. He's not going to say anything. He's just going to just going to watch you. I have a short one. And, uh, I'm not going to hold on to the Molotov cocktail, <laughs> but I'm going to step out in front of the Just showing that I'm not going to like hang back. I do intend to put my money where my mouth is. All right. Is that going to be the end of your turn? It will. All right. It is now Bowie's turn. Well, Steam, stop. No one asked you to open. After seeing what just happened, I guess. There's only one action that she can basically take at this moment, and that's using feline agility and attacking someone. But because Book is currently grappled, I think she can use her feline agility to basically shield bash this guy and make a shove action in yeah. order to undo the grapple. Yeah. So it's con contested athletics. Dice rolls. Would it be at advantage since I'm flanking or no? Don't think that's how the shove action works. I'm not sure though. Oh, well, well, shit. Okay. I'm not sure. So I don't believe advantage on shoves unless. Okay. Well, that's. I guess Bowie's useless this this time. Okay. I rolled a twenty-one, so it's not gonna work. Well, Bowie's useless, I guess. Okay. Hmm. You come. You see Bowie just sprint past Darius, and she takes out his shield and she tries to shield bash, bash the dude to make him let go of Brooke. However, the dude just he squares his shoulder and pushes back against her. And it does nothing. Alrighty. And because she still has feline agility up, she can move all the way over here. And then just kind of hide there for a bit. Hopefully this can give her, you know, something whenever she decides to attack again. Alright. Is that going to be the end of your turn? Yep, that's all I can do, sadly. Yeah. It's the other orc's turns now. Well, the one that's grappling. So, when you're grappling someone, can you still attack or no? Uh, crap, I don't. I just want to make sure. You you can still attack normally. Both people can still attack normally. It's only if one person's incapacitated. Old then they can't attack. I believe all grappling does for the cannot move grappled. Yeah. That's all it does. It just it just stops moving. Grappling fucking sucks. If you're grappled, it's you might not be able so, to attack. So it's so bad in this game. It's seriously so it's almost pointless trying. And that annoys me tremendously, but I'll get into it now. It annoys me a lot. Yeah. So oof. Okay then. Well The more I looked into grappling <sighs> rules, the more I'm just like, why did I make buoy? Oof. <laughs> Because it sounds cool. Hey, Burb, I need you to make me a grapple thing. Oh. Oh, boy. Let's do this shit. Athletics, then. Actually, no, it's acrobatics. Because yeah, I'm you, defending. Yeah, your choice. That's a 23. Take it. I rolled an 18. Uh, right. what'd you say? <laughs> Are you trying to hit, hit me? Hit me? No. no. Talking to bur uh, Burb. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought you said Kit. No. She, she said K. I said K. Like, okay. Something like that. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Going to move. 
so that he is shielding the big dude. It is now the hand. Okay. Would I actually know that Penelope is hiding there? I'm sorry. Probably because she's a big ass white cat. Okay. Thank God. Okay. It is now the Warg's turn. Give me one momento. There is now a wall, which. Burb, um, give me just a second. What is your AC? Hold on, let me check. Make sure. Okay, yeah, Shield of Faith is down, so it's back to normal. So it's a 19. All right, well, the warg comes running at you, tries to bite you, but you are able to dodge out of the way, and it misses completely. Yay. Um. Hmm. How is everyone looking health-wise? Or when I say everyone, I mean Darius, Alina, and Kenneth. Um, bloodied. Bloodied. Yeah. Tim Tim thinks of looking grim grim. Here, I want <laughs> what is Kenneth Cindy? Uh 18. But he's at 20 out of 45, so he's a little under half. That's bloodied. That's bloodied. Yeah. It's a bloodied. That's a mess. Alright. Well, it is now the chief's turn. He's just going to stand there and cross his arms and look at you, Darius. He's not smiling or anything. He doesn't see you. Can, he's not really. He doesn't seem like he's enjoying what's going on. He's just going to speak to you directly and say, None of them have to die. Fight me. And they will be let go. Uh, here's your first time you created the fruit. I have a question for Lois and JT. If someone wanted to pick something off the ground and just toss it forward, how, what would would that just be an action? Would I, what would I do? How would I just say to do it? It would be the um, use an object action. Yeah. The object action. Because throwing things you know, like considered an attack, like a spell kind of attack. Well, you know, you probably could not see before because of the wall of of orcs and warg that was standing between your vision and the chief. But you watch as the chief picks up Colvar's now limp body and just tosses it forward. This was not my fault. I was trying to prevent such casualties. No one else has to die. Oh shit! And he speaks in common this time. This time it's in common. Um, Brooks looks visibly at this comment because she obviously knows it was her that killed Colvar. Like you could tell, she was probably the one responsible for this. With the look on her face, it's guilt. It's guilty as frick. Kenneth's eyes are going to narrow as he stares at the chief, and he's just readying his bow, being like. One life for another. Quit the self righteous and BS. You know you're blind. And you're going to be punished for it. Alright, Brooke, it's your turn. Alright. How much would I need to, would one need to fall to cause damage to the orc chief? What? 
<laughs> just just ask this theoretical question. Answer this theoretical question for me. What's the question? How much would a would a middle aged woman need to fall to cause damage to the orc chief? <laughs> this is <laughs> nice to <laughs> AKA can she use her body as a weapon? <laughs> like would ten feet be good enough? <laughs> Because, like, at that point, that's going to cause damage to me as well. I can misty step out of the grapple. He's just be patient. You can do it. <laughs> so what's the cause of death? What was the cause of death? She questioned the DM. <laughs> You know what? Hey, hey, chat. I'm sorry. Brooke no longer exists. I'm just no. gonna, I'm just gonna... 10 trillion points of death damage. <laughs> How much does a wom- middle-aged woman have to fall? to cause damage to an orc chief who, might I add, is battle-hardened and has trained basically his entire life to do this type of thing. It's so how much do it. I have to fall on him to cause damage? Hey. I'm just asking, it. theoretically, like, how much fall falling would, like... What are you trying to say, Burb? If you want to do this, like, actually, okay? Um, how much does Brooke weigh? Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Well, plus her equipment? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. She weighs 126 pounds, but plus all of that equipment, man. Yeah, that's 200. Um, yeah, that's 226 pounds. 226 LBS, okay. What about the orc chief? What's their constitution and stuff like that? And how high are you going to be teleporting? Um, that's why I'm asking. This depends. Um, you can miss a step into the air. It says open space. That's uh, not what that means. That's on the ground. It doesn't say on the ground. It says open space. Hang on. I Unoccupied space. You can see the air is an unoccupied space. Okay, okay, I don't know. He's got a point. <laughs> yeah, I know there's a point there, but I cannot. Uh, I'm checking this now. Hang on. It's it's a cool idea, but oh, I'm checking the spell I now. I allow you to miss each as long the air. as long as the space is within range, unoccupied, in range is within range, unoccupied, and you can see it. It's valid. It's a valid misty step destination. No. Flying does not matter, apparently. At least that's what I see in on the RPG forms and stuff. Uh... So actually, yeah, you could oh, misty step hang into on, the air. Hang on, give me a second. My Looking at roll, you can misty step into the air. It's entirely possible. Do you want me to make a Pythagorean triangle to determine how high she can go? Ah, <laughs> uh, the scaling triangle. <sighs> let's, I can't let's believe fuck- this is the question that bamboozled you. <laughs> let's fucking uh, do it, the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not going to be just falling on him. I want to make sure because Misty Step is a bonus action. I love my action to whack. Him. You see, this is why I just deal with basic things. I don't. That's about 20 feet, so that would be half of that. That's 10. So I could technically speaking here probably um, fall a good 20 kit. feet above him. About 28 feet, I think. Yeah. I just, it's not a now. Yeah. Every, every, every 10 feet is 5 feet, so everything's half on this battle. Map. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I meant. That's like 17, so it's about 20, so that's about. Yeah, so I could technically. I was just talking out loud. Yeah. Guys, we killed Floyd. So, 10, that's 10 30, feet. 10. I. I mean, I'm literally doing the Pythagorean theorem at the moment. Oh my god, why are you doing the Pythagorean theorem? <laughs> because I want to see how high Brooke can actually go 
with she can you know, fall Max. good twenty feet. Let's just estimate it at that. God damn it! You guys are boring. Oof. Yeah, I'm just asking. <laughs> would it cause damage to him? That's all I'm asking. Oh, she's deafened. He's trying to process what the hell I just. No, her aunt is talking to her. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. It, it, it makes sense what I'm trying to do, right? Yeah. I mean, no, but. Yes, but no, but yeah. Yes and no. Mechanically speaking, here it makes sense. Mechanically speaking, yes, but logically speaking, no. But I can stand it for <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, I'm just. I'm pulling out as many power moves as I can during this battle, so help me. <laughs> but uh, no, this is what I this is what I meant by uh, I'm fine. I got this under control. That's this is what I meant by that. Just so you know. All I know is my phone. I is don't know if you do. <laughs> How much does a middle-aged woman have to fall to cause damage to an orc chief? <laughs> huh. So apparently you can go up to 28 feet in the air. I was right all along. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah. Because it's 10, it's 10 foot of movement to get from you to the orc, and you have a total of 30. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the 30 goes up. 30 would go up. Yeah, 30 would go up, and then you have 28 feet to go down. So, oof. And yes, I did do the math for this. Oof. Good God. So it would be 2d6 out damage I would be taking, but it would be worth it. I would just, on the side, on like a different account, roll that 2d6 just to get an estimate of how bad you're going to screw yourself over. I mean, that's a 2d6 to me, so that's me falling. So I'm imagining here, if that's damaging me, it's going to damage whatever the hell I fall on. Especially consider with the fact that I'm attacking him as this is happening as well. With The, max, the maximum... Wait, how, how much fall damage can one even take? Um, I would be taking 2d6 damage. Uh, are you talking maximum in general? Or just maximum from a fall like that? The, the fall damage rule, like... How it's 1d6 per 10 feet. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty forgiving. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty forgiving. So, so, the max, so the maximum damage would just be 12 HP. Exactly. Lot, no, I can take 12, 12 HP. Oh no, 12 HP. See, I wouldn't be as much worried about that as much as what could happen. Yeah. What could my happen next after? Turn. I mean... I'm, I'm pretty sure the book still has movement. I still have movement, but I would have fallen on top of him, and I'm not going to say anything, but that might cause I'm falling on him, that might knock me prone. You'd probably fall right in the middle of those. Yeah, yeah I would probably fall in the... Then I'd have to run, and that would be some opportunity you could, attacks. Dude, you could take this disengage action, because um, Misty Step is a bonus action. You're right, it is. Wait. Misty step is a bonus action. But I'm planning on attack, but I'm planning on I'm planning on attacking him though for my action. Oh shit. Me falling on him is just me hoping. Oh well, in that phase. <laughs> yeah, well, in, that, in, in, in that place or in that case you're yeah, you're done. Bye bye, book. Oof. <laughs> no, that's me hoping for extra damage, man. Yeah. I might just fall on him, take disengage and run though, honestly. I could do either. It depends on how hurt I look and how hurt he looks after this. Yeah. What I'm hoping to do is like a cool thing, like as I'm falling, I hit him with my staff. That'd be cool. Like that's plus oh, fall. That'd be like plus fall damage as well, and I'd be like, hey, it's kind of nice. And she's back. Hey. Hi. Welcome back. 
Why do you do this to me? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just playing creatively. <laughs> I'm just playing Book's... creatively, man. Book's gonna fucking dropkick the orc chief. Oof. I'll be right. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have to go. Continue. All right. Uh, alrighty. All right. Sorry about that. My aunt was talking to me about something. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. So, would me falling from a good twenty-eight feet do any damage to him? Because it'd be doing damage to me. I know. So my logic here is that I'm falling on something, it's hurting me, but how much would that hurt somebody else? It'd probably hurt. And it's 1d6 per uh, 10 feet of fall damage. Fall. So yeah. JT. JT? Yeah. The other DM here, what do you recommend? Because I'm allowing well, I, I just don't know what if she teleports for damage. Using a Pythagorean triangle, she'd be falling approximately twenty feet because of the orc's height. No, but the orc's height. He's probably like yeah, about I think it's safe to assume he's oh, at right, least yeah. uh, eight feet tall. In which case he'd be falling twenty feet before contact. Yeah. So you'd be falling twenty feet, hitting him and then falling. I think the equivalent of another 10 feet yourself, so I think it'd be like 3 to 6 damage to you, unless you're able like, to hold on to him, I guess. Uh, no, because I'd be technically in total be falling 28, so that's still only um, 2 to 6 damage. I so. think it's, it's 2 feet away from 30. It's far closer to 30 feet than yeah. 20 feet. I, went I know it's not raw, feet. but I think it's rye. It would count as 30 feet. I'm not trying to screw you over here. I'm just trying to speak Yeah, no, objectively. it's fine. I'm, just, I'm trying to think of what would... I'm not falling the full 28, just so you know. I'm like, that's my full potential of fall. I'd say uh, the chieftain would take, considering it's a very heavy object hitting him in the head, I think he'd take damage equal to the damage Brooke takes, and then Brooke takes an additional 1d6 from falling off of the orc onto the heart ground. In which case, she'd have to, either she'd be prone automatically, or she'd have to make a check to avoid falling prone. Like an acrobatics or something. So I'm allowed to do this, basically. So, um... It's up to Peach. Yeah, JT? I'm just saying, that's just what I would do personally. It's up to Peach, what she wants to do. So... Hey guys, how bad is my mic? Ugh. It's not that Sorry, bad. It's not okay. bad, but yeah. Oh, you're okay. It's, it's fine. Okay, it, it got better there. I had to switch over to my computer because my phone is refusing to charge. Okay, so I am gonna say, um, from the height and everything, you're gonna take the damage necessary for thirty feet. So, or if I fall, it's I haven't said how much I'm actually falling yet. I've oh. been listening this whole time. Y'all have been saying 20 feet. Or no, that's me saying the full. That's the full I could take. I never swore I was going to actually so how take how much, that. how far are you going? I'm saying I'm going to be 10 feet above him. Okay, then take the necessary damage for 10 feet. Okay, calm down. What do you mean calm down? I'm just No, talking. no, I'm not, I'm not, it's, it's not what I'm, never. Me? What, 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 me, I'm sensitive. No, well, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean I'm. I'm joking, Kit. It's okay. Okay, no, it's you're as no, sensitive okay. as a cunt can be. <laughs> Oof. Good, Kit. Pat, pat. Okay, you can't but see, I'm... but I'm using my computer mouse to pat your icon. Pat, pat. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Thank you. I'm All patting right. a goose. Pat, pat. As I am grappled by this thing, I, I, I flip. I f give him the bird, and I am now ten feet above the war uh the orc. And I am falling. You're now inside of the big man. Oh boy. Oh, that's messed up. Okay. How much damage did you take from falling? Oh, uh, that's six damage. So you're both taking six, and then you're going to take... Um, Go ahead and make me an acrobatics check to see if you fall prone. Okay.
Smack. Hold on, sorry. Yeah. Twenty. Okay, you're fine. Healing. All right, and as I like, <laughs> imagine I just fall off, bounce off, and <laughs> I'm still flipping him off as I do this. By the way, and I take the disengage action. Okay. And I am now... Okay, how far could I run? Could I just run all the way over there? 15 feet. Um, if you're going to the right, you're head. going past enemies. So you're going to... That's gonna, disengage uh, action. Oh, yeah, yeah, disengage applies to everybody, I, not just I, one target. I, I forgot it. Yep, so I'm running over here. I forgot ah. she was saying disengage. Alright, it's now... <sighs> what did I tell you? I had it in the control. It's Penelope's turn. Shit, Penelope goes before me. Fuck. Yeah. That that ruins my plans. Damn. Uh, no. Uh, is... Penelope's still vibing. She's. It's yeah, Alina's she... turn. I'm back. I literally just go back right now, so that was like perfect timing. I come back and just say, "It's Alina." Says, "Oh, hey, <laughs> that's me." I dealt six. Um, I dealt six fall damage to him. By oh the way. my god. Jesus fucking Christ. It's way better than I thought you'd do. I was predicting two. I, I was getting strong feelings for two. <laughs> JT has the two cents. Um, oh shit, I was literally just thinking about this. What would do? Well, she's for a second frozen in just shock at seeing all Kova's and the dead body. And she just kind of like looks up, narrows her eyes, just says, you have no idea what you've just done. And I'm going to shoot twice at the Orc Chief. Alright, roll the hit. And I want you 20. That's the wrong thing. That is a um, 25 and a um, 21. They both hit. Using an, my last arcane shot on this fucker. Using grasping, grasping arrow. You just roll that. Oh god. Hmm, how much damage do you want to do? Yes. Uh, let's see. That is. Um, god, okay. 2d8 plus 16 plus 6. That is 41 damage. Uh, 8. 5, 10, 15. Uh, 19 of it being poison damage. And the rest being piercing damage. And now he also has covered in vines and now is reduced to the speed of reduced by 10. Sorry that my aunt keeps trying to talk to me. All right. All right. Well, Lois. Yep. How do you want to do this? Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Forty wooden damage, fuckers. Oh, okay, give me. Oh shit, I didn't. Hmm. Fuck, I didn't think I'd get this far. We'll have to see in Colva's dead body. She's gonna be a, a little bit of anger, just a just a smidge of it. And her first shot, she's gonna shoot a thing, probably just straight for the 
the ankle, crippling him. And then she's with her arcane shot, you know, she's gonna let the arrow go green, shoot right into his throat, and let the Blanchard just wrap around his throat and just strangle and just constrict his throat, as well as the arrow piercing his throat as well. All right, well, he tries to speak as he's dying, and he's looking directly at Darius as he's dying. So he's making eye contact with Darius as he dies. He's trying to speak. However, he cannot speak um, due to the amount of blood flooding his throat and mouth. And he falls to the ground dead before he can speak. Whisper, say it's as awfully elvish, just... It's your turn. Can I see what just happened is going to shuffle away from Alina like a slight <laughs> step? <laughs> and he's just kind of looking a bit of disbelief. And then she's probably just going to hear her mutter. Look, before he's going to just like as he's staring, he's just gonna blindly shoot at this one with his blindly shoot. But blindly shoot, I mean, he's like glancing every like few seconds to make sure he's aimed right, but he's still kind of like at the same time, he's looking Blade at text. The... what. I'm saying what you're describing was more flavor text. Yeah. Okay, he's just looking back and forth at the dude. He's trying to shoot Elena, just being like, what the fuck? How? Uh, this can, to hit. He can be brutal. I've noticed. <laughs> plus eight. Is it a... Oof. Not and one. nine misses. Which makes perfect sense. And he's, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. He's too much in shock to really be able to shoot again. So that's the end of his turn. All right. Well, next up is Darius. The tidal wave did put out the fire. Yeah, the fire is no longer there. It did only hit half of it, though, so it would be safe to assume there's at least some spark. No, 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 it spreads out that. 30 feet. The water oh, does. Oh, right from the get-go? Yep. It doesn't, uh, like, at a certain range, it doesn't hurt anybody, but everything's wet at uh, 30 feet, so it, yeah, the flame's gone. I guess I'll have to do this the easy way. I'd like to move my, uh, my partisan in advance. All right. Are you attacking somebody? You know, I'm just gonna forcefully suggest to stop living with my partisan. So that again, you cut out. No, I'm gonna forcefully suggest that they stop living. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna nod and pretend I heard what you said. Forcibly, forcefully sub. Forcefully suggest that they stop living. Okay. I'd like to make three attacks against the top one. Which one you said? The top one. This one? I can't ping, but yes. Okay, roll the hit. Oh, fuck. Feels good, Ben. <laughs> uh, it'd be a 14, Holy a 13, shit. and a natural 20. And? A 14, a 13, and a natural 20. Uh, the 14 and 20 hit. So I'm just going to go ahead and say he's dead. Oh, I because I know where so this hard. is. I know where the house is. 15 plus... 
Oh my. Twelve God. is twenty-seven. He's dead. They're just that's that's dead. That's so incredibly dead. Is that going to be the end of your turn? Yes. Buoy. I remember to unmute this time. Thank God. Okay, so. Two people around me. I could use the sweeping arc attack, but I think that's going to be a bad idea this time. Because, um, disadvantage so i'm actually going to be prioritizing my attacks on this warg right here that's directly next to me because last time wargs are fucking annoying so um yeah roll the hit that's a 17. to hit they take 11 11 slashing damage he's dead Oh boy, hey. Is that gonna hmm. be your turn? Well I'm I'm basically just gonna grapple this dead body and then just toss it elsewhere. That's it. <laughs> and I took it and I threw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and I took it and I threw it on the ground. Yeah. Eat the fucking body. All right. Well, seeing as their chief and many of their companions have died, um, these two guys that are left are disengaging. Oh, so, oh, oh. they're running away. Disengaging can't save them because they're within my range. Can't hear you. Disengaging won't save them because they're still in my attack range. Ergo, <laughs> Sentinel. You can't hit them when they're disengaging. Sentinel. <laughs> I have Sentinel, so yes, I can. <laughs> yes, Sentinel. Wait, please. can he? Yes, yeah, Sentinel. Uh, yeah, he can. Sentinel. Uh, I can. Oh no one hits me. Sentinel hits me. No one is allowed to game. move without my permission in this game. Sentinel. <laughs> we lost the DM. <laughs> Is this there one? Oh, we lost. There is just something like I control the move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we I, have. I control the board. <laughs> I control the die. Yeah. Well, not the die. The dice just, just go fuck me. God. <laughs> so here we have Brooke pulling a few power moves this time. Darius just controlling the battlefield. Alina lost her dog. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you would just lose your dog in a combat. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. It just happens. It's a casual Friday. I mean, it's a Saturday, so. You know, it's just a casual Friday. Or, sa or Sunday for me. Yeah. Nah. It's just a casual Friday. Only on Fridays. Oh, like, Fluke just put Darius is out for blood and he will force his donors to donate to the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Fucking sentinel. Peach, if you're talking, we can't hear you. I'm not talking. Yes, uh, I thought you were good here. Your dot was lighting up, so I assumed you were. Probably because I'm making noise. I assume it's something along the lines of. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> One of them is disengaging. If you'd like me to, if you'd like me to, if you'd like me to trade feats, I will, because I don't think you fully understood how powerful Sentinel was before you let me have yeah, it. Yeah, no, I Sentinel was pull our master, correct. especially. <laughs> I mean, I might miss, in which case he can run. Yeah, it's 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 not instant. It's it still requires a hit. Which is why it's like, it's powerful, but isn't broke. I mean, it's bro kind of broken with pawn. Isn't the most broken feat. But it's broken in some regards. Like, let's say the reason why it's, it's so broken if you synergize it right. And also, it was just that like it works with any weapon and anything. 
So a, a measly eight strength wizard could poke a giant purple worm, and if that hits, it will not move. Roll the hit, JT. <laughs> Natural 20. Yeah. Oh my god, what is this? Just, so many nat 20s. <laughs> 28 damage. Oh my god, we rolled so many Good nat 20s god. tonight. So many nat 20s. Oh, just wait, that just means our next fight, we're gonna get all in that one. Yeah, 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 don't worry. We're, we're, the luck oh, of yeah, that is gonna, gonna go be totally made up next session. It's the ward's turn. He's going mm -hmm. to disengage. Not in my life. No, no, he doesn't. He <laughs> yeah, I, don't well, I only have I only have one react. Yeah, he only so. has one. Damn. He yeah, that's to live. That's another thing as well about it. Is that if there's multiple enemies disengaging, you can only hit one. You you don't have multiple reactions. I don't think anything. Like he gets to live. Tunnel fighter. Damn. Okay, except for tunnel fight. Tunnel fight can go fuck itself. <laughs> 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 well, you guys had a lengthy battle. You fought several different things, and only two of them survived. But not my. That's two too, too many. Well, congratulations, you guys. The battle is over. Yay! Colbar. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Fine. Alina's not gonna be upset about it at all. So upset. Don't worry about her. Oh god. Oh Here god. <gasps> I have an idea. I know for a fact. It's Looks not going like to... half proud of herself because of the shit she did, and also just half like, God, what have I done? God, what have I? Done? I mean, hey, Kenneth kind of talks to the god of life and death, so it's a dog. No, it's a dog. Eh. All dogs go to heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> he was a good boy. Um. Well, shit. Well, once the combat's over, please have just breathe. Put a bow on her back very calmly. Calmly walk over to Kovo's now limp corpse. Pick it up and just go. Give me like. Uh, Alina, I'm. Uh, all right. Walk over a roundabout. Colbo's body. Actually, check. I have something on my not inventory. Good. Didn't bring one of these. I shovel. Know. Yeah, shovel. I, I, I do it. Pretty sure we did pack one. Or am I confusing silence? Hey, I have a shovel. Just gonna just like I looked for. Look, mind if I borrow the shovel? Um. Yeah. Just gonna just take it and just stop. Doing the uh, shallow grave. Well, everyone does that. What else is there? everyone else going to do? With I might um, as well tend. Sorry. And no, no, no. It's fine. You say you go first. Might as well tend to Penelope's wounds because they're severely injured. Yeah, I'm gonna. Get... I'm gonna go over to Penelope and be like. Uh, you did good, girl. And I'm gonna... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna waste, uh, not waste, but I'm gonna use my last uh, third level uh, cure wounds on that. That sucks. Oh god, the dice would be... Damn. Immediately after combat. Immediately after combat. The dice say no. At least it was after and not during, okay? Yeah, at least it was after. Penelope's still looking significantly better than what she was before, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm just petting her. Oh god, oh. what did I do? Why did I think that was a good idea? Oh! Also, sorry to ruin the mood, but uh, one sit up. <laughs> I know, I know that's I'm there. Sorry. I know it's there. What? Yeah. Don't worry about it. I do, Don't worry about it. I do it after the stuff. Okay. Also, what I said was in character, and Bowie's over there with me. Hmm. 
Why did I? Oh, you you saw that. I don't. Oh no. I take full responsibility for this fight. Why? No, you shouldn't. I should. I could have. I could have done better. Much better. This fight, I was only looking out for myself. It seems. No, oh, you did fine. You just. God, I fucking. I killed Alina's. I. Oh, God. Oh, no. She's probably gonna be mad at. She's gonna be so mad at. She's. Oh, God. I killed Kolvar. Tell it. Tell it to her, then. She at least but, needs. But she. Of course she knows. Or she, the chief told her. He was like, hey, this wasn't. She knows she's gonna. Oh, God. I don't know if. And if she, if she doesn't somehow, I don't. How am I gonna tell her? It was in the heat of the moment. If she didn't do that, then more people would have died. And besides, Visual Kovar, you know, lived a pretty lived a pretty good life and stuff. Could have been better, but at least at least he was able to die here peacefully rather than die in a cage somewhere. Yeah. But I wasn't. I was worried about Lena because I knew she was over there. I didn't even think to care about Cobra. I was like, Lena, hey, you gotta go with this, and then I cast a spell, and then lo and behold, the dog's dead. That's the thing. That's the thing. Sometimes, in battle, you have to determine whose lives are bet, who lives are better worth saving at times. At least that's what my father told me. I guess this is one of his examples. Would you rather? Yeah, save but was it dog? worth sacrificing her? Would you, hat would you rather save a moment? dog or save three people? I would rather save three people, but I would like it if none of them mentally suffered. Hmm. Lena's been through a lot. We all know this, obviously. I just. Yes. That's just. Another thing to add to the pile. Don't, the only way to treat something like this is to just be there for her whenever she needs help. Not, not exactly, you know, helicopter parent like how my aunt was, <laughs> but just What's a helicopter? <laughs> God, God damn it. Okay, you know what? A, ke a kestrel mother. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm Hi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, modern <laughs> modern hell? common, okay? Really somebody's <laughs> talking in modern common. Okay, never mind. <laughs> What's a <laughs> helicopter? God, I just ruined that moment. I'm but sorry. Yeah. Not not exactly a kestrel parent, but you know, just being there for them. Being there for them whenever they need it. And it seems like she's gonna need that more than ever now. <sighs> yeah. Go ahead and talk to her. There's only there's only one way to get rid of the guilt that you might be having right now. And that's to well, admit it. Oh, fine. Yeah. Uh <sighs> but I'm the one that tells her, okay? That's fine. that's fine. You might as well do it now while the wound is fresh. Yeah. Because sometimes if you wait for if you wait for the wound to recover and then make another cut again, it'll just come out even worse. Yeah. Um, uh, Brooke's gonna start heading over. Um, I'll make sure that Penelope's patched up now. Alright, yeah. Actually, wait, before I do that, you guys are probably doing some more shit while, before I talk, go over to you, so you guys do some shit beforehand. Yeah. Um, when text RP, Alina's just dead silent, there's no face. But she doesn't even look at Kenneth, she just takes off Colva's harness. Takes off, takes off the harness, takes uh, the little, little name plaque that was on the harness, takes it off, puts the harness back on. Or after digging a little shallow grave, she's gonna put Colva in it and just bury it as lightly as she can. Or getting like a stone from the near water. 
box over here, so picking one up. Putting the little name plaque on the stone. And just looking around for any any nearby flowers or anything like that. You mean Brooke's hair. Oh. Yeah. Actually, I feel like that might be a good time to segue into that, maybe. Oof. Yes, well, no. Kenneth, while, all of, while uh, Brooke and Billy were talking, was also helping Alina in a way, aka he was, like, making sure Colbar was clean and, like, made it as if, where it was kind of respect. To be like, I know this is difficult, I'm not going to make you talk, but I'm here to help you, in a way. So no response. You... No response or no, no not even not even like a thank you. It's just dead quiet. And he completely understands, so he's not gonna force the issue. And then I guess as this is happening, he's actually going to like once Alina like goes to try and find flowers, he's just gonna kinda crouch down by the grave and he's just gonna like whisper a small prayer being like Okay, Zahar, I know you don't like me, but at least got a death, got a life. Make sure the soul at least ends up someplace decent and nice. And like he's just mumbling that really softly as if to just pay respect. And you can now intervene. Would Brooke be over here by this point? I would say so. Um. <clears throat> uh. Okay. I'm sorry. About what? Brooke looks incredibly guilty. He's trying to say something, but it's not coming out. I'm just sorry about Colvar and how he and I I could have done something. I was I was right there. I could I could have I kinda of look up and just battle. Already got struck down by a blue. Distracted. Did everything you when No, oh, I was I was I was fine, honestly. I called it I had things ham handled. Yeah, the guy got a hold of me at that one point, but as you saw I, I was fine with I did a little flare for a bit, but I No, I'm just God, I'm trying to say it but I can't get it out. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm just I'm sorry. Or just borrow a flower. Uh, yeah. She like leans down so that Lena can be a little easier. Box whatever, whatever one she's just gonna grab first and is gonna bury it, and then use. Well, can she use druid craft to make it like grow in the ground? I would say that's doable. That and just kind of like watch it. Like, crouch down on the floor, just like, you know, clutch a pen. Just say a small prayer in Sylvan. Just something on the Look after him, Lanus. Oh, the god, oh, god, she follows. I never know how to say it. Maliki, I think it is. Um, after them. A lot of good. Um, Brooke also says a few words in an unidentifiable language to you guys. Primordial. Or druid. Yes. <laughs> Primordial. She. 
Her druidic is broken as fuck. She's not going to speak a druidic. <laughs> the second that everything's buried in here, I'm going to walk back to the car. And can I, like, I guess, like, whistle for, um, for Gizmo to come out from wherever he's been hiding nearby? Yes, you can. Okay. I'm going to give a pretty, I guess, Chad whistle, like, a really good, like, you know, those really good whistles. Give one. Chad whistle. Yeah, like, you know, like, like the really good whistles when you hear someone's like, damn, that was a pretty good whistle. <laughs> like, much better than that. Um... Wow, okay. You could beat me and not know how to whistle at all. I can't even whistle right now, I can't, it's too bad. But, um... But, you know, and she's gonna get, you know, once Gizmo's over, she's just gonna untackle him and tackle- uh, un untackle the- the riding equipment, tackle him up to the cart, ready to move. Just again, just blank expression. Yeah. At that point, Penelope would probably move over as well, because she was actually the one that was uh, leading the cart before this happened. So, uh, where the fuck is the cart? No, whatever. Probably just a little bit off. Yeah. All the way over here. Yeah, somewhere up here. All, somewhere up here. All the way back here. Yoit. What's the actual do? gizmo or horse gizmo? Gizmo, horse gizmo. Anyway. Okay. Ah. Uh. What is Darius doing? He's inspecting the body of the dead orc chieftain. Ooh, give me a second. Give me just a second. Well, on his body you find a spear and a great axe. You find some meat that was probably horse meat. Um you don't really find anything of like value, it's just things he needed to survive and all that stuff. I'm going to get up and make my way down to the small encampment on the oh. uh, southeastern Sorry. area. I forgot. He has. You can also find chainmail that he was wearing. None of us here can use chainmail except Elena, and she's not going to. Yeah. I'm going to make my way down to the, um, the other uh, southeastern area of the camp, but not before plucking both of his tusks out. Damn. No, you're nothing. I'd like to investigate the cart. Alright. Go ahead and investigate. Did you hear what I said? Oh, there you go. I didn't know if you heard me. 13. Uh, you find... You find like some small merchant things. He had some mainly it's food on his journey. Um it was just things they hadn't gotten to yet. The majority of the things that this man was had in his cart was food. So take what you think of whatever you think someone would have when they're traveling long distances, whatever food you would think they would have. Well, if there's still a dead body around, I want to pick up the body and lay it down in the car. Preferably in a clear space, and if there's not any, I'm going to make one. Yeah, I would I would say that they would have cleared out some of the carts, so there would be a clear space. 
as specially as possible, I'm just going to dump the body in there. Okay. You After that, I'm going to fetch my oil sack and try and salvage what I can from it. What is Bowie doing? Right now she's currently making her way towards the grave while everyone else is, I'm assuming, moving towards the cart because she has yet to pay respects to Kolvar as she was busy patching up Penelope during the time. Did you heal her up any or no? No, just no. using healer's kits, making sure that's, you know, okay. no wounds are open again. Oh yeah, is book is book near the body as well? Or Kova's body? Uh, or are they also moving towards the cart? Brooke's moving towards the cart, yeah. Well I'm assuming like they they're gonna pass each other and stuff. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, did you tell her yet? Oh god. Um Dead me. Technically, she did. So, technically, she did not. No, nope, she said in primordial. That doesn't count. <laughs> she technically did. She never said what language I was gonna. Be. Oh, but um, can Bowie actually see that? Like you know, just via body language and stuff with an insight check. Yes. Um, for, yeah. <laughs> like I'm gonna say, yeah. Um, could just technicalities here, but let's see what you're... I'm not even gonna roll deception, man. You know oh, she just fucking didn't tell us to say a word. I mean, she did, but like... <laughs> Either you properly explain it and she, she can heal better, or you just half-assed it, like I'm assuming you did, and she just gets worse over time. <sighs> I tried. I... If you need me to help explain, then I can. I've had to break the news that people have died before. I mean, like, can shit happens at sea. But, like, when you're directly responsible for it? Hmm. Oh, Indeed. man. It's tough. I know, but this is the only this is the only way that one can get better. And besides, you need to heal yourself as well by speaking the truth to her. If you keep if you keep this up for too long, then even even you you, you will lose yourself. Yeah. Now, excuse me. I still need to pay my respect to to good old Kolvar here. Yeah. And she's just gonna, you know, take a knee next to Kolvar. Well, next to Kolvar's grave and just start praying again. All right. What is Hoot doing? Can I just staying quiet with respect? And he hasn't really moved from the grave because he's just thinking. Because what time would you say it is, roughly? Oh, god damn it. I don't fucking know. It was around noon. It was around noon when so we started long. the combat. I... So it's still noon. Yeah, it's still noon. It's still noon. <laughs> like 12.30, almost 1. Okay. So, I'm not going to do the thing that I was thinking of until later. So, yeah, he's just going to be thinking and just staying there in silence because he knows Alina probably wants her space. And I'm guessing with how close Bowie and Brooke were, he overheard that. Then again, yeah, he also saw it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. but he also saw the chief say, but he did overhear that. Obviously, Alina doesn't know. So he's not going to say anything. He's just going to be quiet at this 
moment, at the least. Because he's one to mostly understand death as much as he hates it. So, yeah. All right. Well, what does everyone want to do? Well, I guess we're soon going to move on, but let's see what everyone else wants to do. Um, Brooke's going to take a good look at everyone and then herself and be like, Does anyone need some healing? I always do, but I'm fine for right now. Just rest. No, I literally have most of my spells. I'm. I, I'd rather just rest. Thank you, though. You're welcome. And Brooke. Yeah. Billy does have a point. It's better to just say it instead of hiding it. With how much this group's been trying to hide things from each other, it's better just to get it over with. If need be, I could give you some paper and you could just write it, but it's better to tell her to her face before the night's... I'm working on it. I am working on it. I am just... I need to be the one that, do it, that does it. I, I need to take responsibility. I just gotta figure out Three. how I... It's okay, Brooke. I want to know how you go. Uh, oh, did what? she move? I thought she was. She's moved. Like, no. I, I need to change her on the map. No oh, oops. I thought she was still biased. Oh, yeah. I thought I thought Kenneth was over by now, considering he's talking. Uh, like, just, just get over here. Get over here. Stay next to me. Be my friend. There we go. We're talking very quietly so they can't hear us. No, no, but. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I'll just... I'll be the one to do it, okay? I'm not saying I'll say it, I'm just saying... It's better to get a gun over with. Yeah, I know. And I mean, I... I can't really do anything, but if I ever get in touch with the horror again, I'll try and make sure Coldfire Soul's in a better place, at least. He was a dog. He's nice and loyal, and I don't think you really need to ask. I know, but I just want to make sure. That's sweet of you. I mean, as a, if any of us knows Diff, it's definitely me. So, and at least with <laughs> this, I, I need to find a way to talk to him anyway, so... T two birds, one stone? <laughs> hey. <sighs> and he's just gonna slowly, like, move to the cart as he's talking. Expecting her to kind of follow. Wait, what is he gonna do? He's kind of walking towards the cart as he's talking. Yeah, like, we're kind of at the cart now, so getting close to the cart and... Yeah, kind of just getting things prepared, checking things out, and yeah. But yeah, two birds with one stone, if I somehow find a way to talk to him, at least I can make sure that Colvar will be okay. Because you know me, I don't trust the afterlife. <laughs> And with that, he's going to climb into the cart. Uh, Brooke's going to get on the cart as well and kind of take a position of, like, just kind of ready to go whenever. And, yeah. I'll just say Lena's up in front, taking like about like 30, 40 foot away from the.
Uh, just ready to leave. Just kind of like taking like about 34 foot away from the group. Taking leave. But I'm also going to use second wind to heal myself. Just I doubt we're going to get attacked on my point. Ten plus six. That's nine HP I get back. Oof, second wind. Fuck, fucking fighters, man. Nice. Now I'm no longer bloodied. I just kind of just look back and just go. So, going or what? Yeah. Brooke's gonna bring up the cart closer and be like, "Yeah." Second, the cart starts moving and starts heading forward. If everyone's moving forward, at least I was would. About 40 foot ahead of the group. We might as well just stay between, I guess, for now. Well, between Lena and the car, because who knows? We go rest, but down. I'll take lead. <laughs> I know I did, but I can still walk. I'll be fine. Go rest. Just drank. If you say so. By the way, I hope I hope you're feeling okay, especially after what happened. Alrighty. Anyways, who has who has the map? We need to find out where we are. I hold up the map. Alrighty. Alrighty. Where are we and where the fuck are we going? <laughs> uh, I point to the map and it's like, this is vaguely where we are right now, and... Yeah. You would know um, that you guys are about a week out. A week from Quickburn or just... A week from Quick Burn. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> One more week we have to deal with being on the road. Hmm. Well, if there's another attack like this, I'm pretty sure we won't last a week, but let's just continue onwards. Yeah. What do you guys think? Sorry. Yeah, no, sounds like a plan. Mm. And, uh, actually, as I'm steering, I'm going to take a flip to a page in my, um, my, uh, I guess, art sketchbook thing and, uh, start drawing up Colvar. Kind of a quick little thing of what he looked like. Yeah. All right. Well, I know this was a short session, but I am going to go ahead and call it here. Damn. All righty. That was a good session. What's gonna happen next time? Oh boy. Uh, god. Oh god. Emotionless child time. Oh man. Uh, conflict. I should, not make, I should not make this joke on t Twitch, so I'm not gonna say it until after the stream. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I, well, I already said it in spectators chat, but dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that joke. No. God. Good god. God fuck damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Don't worry. Chat, I hope you all had a good time. 
Yeah. Everyone have a good night. Go sleep. We'll see you hopefully next week. Bye bye. And as and always, ED. ED. God dang it. ED. Yes, ED. Do it. Hey, I like time? how JT started it and now it's just me and Peach. Oof. <laughs> All right, well, everyone, you can all say goodbye now. Bye, guys. Take care, everyone. I'm not sure you're going to always be in your nightmares. <laughs> JT, don't scare the children now. <laughs> you got to traumatize them, not scare them. Yeah, there's a, there's a slight difference, you know? you you got to learn the difference. All right. <laughs>